ladies and gentlemen our time has come where all where are all my hella haters at leave a comment right now where are all my hella hella haters at y'all it is patch day balance update day ota day where we look at the changes we talk about them y'all we got nine cards to look at today we got some insane changes some crazy changes hit that like button let's get 40 likes let's get right into it y'all let's get right into it big hella big hella so uh, as we all know as we are all fully aware of her old stat six cost six power resurrect all your all cards you discarded to random locations with negative two power but they went ahead and decided to boost her boost her stat line by one so making her six cost seven power but now she's resurrect all your cards with negative three power now you guys we we might here, here here we might be able to rejoice about this we might be able to be excited about this here's the thing though if you're up against a hella deck you don't have rogue you don't have enchantress you understand what i'm saying you don't have echo to predict their loot cage this is actually worse for you because as we all know they play their blade they play their loot cage they play their hell cow and then they played their hella but now if you have nothing to deal with luke cage it's actually stronger obviously it's a it's a net it's a nerf right negative three power right i mean you should already you should be running rogue and stuff you know what i'm saying something to deal with luke cage especially because of how popular this is but i mean look interesting change man is is it gonna be is she gonna be a lot worse now is everybody gonna drop her let's hope Let's read what they had to say. Hella seen a resurgence in popularity with Hellcow's change to activate and Black Cat's buff to 10 power. While her win, win rate and cube rates haven't been out of line, this change has strengthened the deck by making it easier to wreck more, resurrect more power with less risk than before, which can, frust, which can feel frustratingly difficult to contest for many decks. We're taking away some additional power from the resurrected cards as a bit of compensation for this added strength, but balancing it a touch with more power for Hella. You guys, this is this is a very interesting change, and and I and I'm very reluctant to call it a nerf. I, I want to title this video "Hella Got Buffed So Bad." I just don't want 40 people commenting telling me I'm wrong. But he, here's why I'm reluctant to call this a buff, y'all infinite what's the difference between 17 and 18 power not much you understand what i'm saying death from 12 to 9 magneto from 12 to 9 giganto from 14 to 11 you can no longer throw priority and shang chi a magneto with this or shang chi a death right additionally like i said if you do not have anything to deal with luke cage this is worse for you because they're going to play Luke Cage and now they get an extra point of power from Hella. Is this a nerf? Is this a buff? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Let's get to the next card. Big Marvel Boy, Little Marvel, Little Boy, Little Marvel Boy. Took away power from him, made him a little, made him a little kid. Let's read what they had to say then. I'm gonna get my thoughts. Ever since Marvel Boy's release, Zoo decks with tons of one cost cards have been riding high. We're glad to see this deck back in contention at the top of the meta game, but the games with an early Marvel Boy tend to put up some particularly strong numbers. We're making a slight ding here to make it a little bit easier to challenge the Zoo deck for multiple locations, given how often Gilgamesh can win them with one. It's interesting, man. I mean, you know, I've been using a lot of Killmonger lately, and, and there's a lot of discussion on whether there's deck based deck based matchmaking in this game or whether there's not. I truly believe there is because every time I have Killmonger on my deck, I've very infrequently run into Marvel Boy decks. But I can understand, you know, how this was out of hand. Like I said, I always run Killmonger. Might as well just run the rogue, take the Kyra, Killmonger, win the game. But maybe they don't want you to use tech cards on every deck. You know what I'm saying? So they had to tone this down a little bit. I don't really think that it uh it does much because Marvel Boy isn't isn't really the source. He isn't the his stat line isn't the source of strength. How about that? It, it's more so his ability that you know makes those decks out of hand. You know, with your Squirrel Girl, 
you know whatever other your kate bishop arrows whatever other one cost cards you want to use with them ant-man and um you know I, I feel like if they were going to adjust anything they should have probably adjusted his ability you know rather than his stat line but i mean you know it's something right you don't gotta really make a huge change to every card every time so i mean i, I I'll, I'll accept this right you know I, like i said i don't really have a high view of marvel boy but you know clearly a lot of people did and so we needed this man y'all let me know what y'all think of big marvel L little boy little marvel boy up next we got war machine now war machine is definitely he for some reason we all forgot about him when they changed uh hell Cal, because i feel like this the war machine um you know the war machine legion storm stuff is still very solid right it's probably be even better then hella because i mean one in in, in the head-to-head -head matchup like you beat hella decks and this has like a better matchup spread against like other types of decks right so the i mean the war machine was stuff was very good especially since they buffed him um yeah they kind of you know forgot about him i definitely agree with taking a little bit of power away from him because his ability is so good i honestly think he could be four or five and he'll be just fine you know what i'm saying so i mean four six is cool Let's go ahead and read what they got to say about him. With the recent change from unrevealed to ongoing to an ongoing one, War Machine has really taken off. We're excited to see the decks with Ebony Maw and, and the Infinite that players have been perfecting for a long time to finally get their day in the sun. Ain't nobody been perfecting no Ebony Maw and Infinite. They just now started using that talk about perfecting. Let's keep reading. However, War Machine's win rate has been among the highest in the game and that has had a lot... Had been in a lot of decks focusing focusing on storm and legion to deny the opponent any turn six plays those decks have a place but they but because they can be frustrating to play against repeatedly we don't want them headlining in the metagame we're taking war machine down by removing power since that recent buff turned out a bit stronger than expected understandable but at the same time you're still gonna be able to do it right next <laughs> symbiote spider Symbiote Spider, they, they need a, a couple more season pass sales, y'all. Y'all didn't buy that season pass for the season. Y'all got a, a few more days left. He just got buffed, you all. Make sure you purchase the season pass. He got one more point of power. I'm I'm going to read what they had to say, but this is clearly this is clearly for money. This is clearly for money. This don't got nothing to do with the balance. You've all found a ton of awesome things to do with Symbiote Spider-Man from retriggering Doctor Doom to safeguarding the power of Human Torch. But a lot of these strategies have been a bit inconsistent and when they don't pan out, Symbio Spider-Man has been under delivering on board presence. To ensure those cool things are less risky, we want to raise the floor so that Symbio Spider-Man con contributes a meaningful amount and of power the rest of the time. Actually, I, actually, I agree with this, Rial. Obviously, they're, they're not going to talk about they want more season pass sales in, in the patch notes, but th it's clear. We all know that they want that. But, you know, outside of that, I, I, it's interesting, man. Like, it, it, Activate is still new, right? Like, I don't I don't think, you know, we fully even understand. Like, it, it hasn't, the mechanic hasn't been out for a month. It's a fly in here. I will kill it. And, um, you know, a, a lot of us, right, we're still trying to figure out how to use Activate, right? On top of that, you know, we only really have Symbiote, Spider-Man, Aranya, and, um, I guess we got black swan we only got four activate cards at this point right so um it might have been under underperforming just because maybe it was too weak maybe like i said people don't really understand how to you know use it yet um on top of that it was locked behind the season pass so you know you might have saw even lower numbers than they thought because nobody or a, a large percentage of people you know what i'm saying are, are not trying to buy that pass right but they buffed him so you better buy it let's keep it going <laughs> big body galactus six six they just gave him one power this is interesting obviously we knew um we all saw like the day one symbiote galactus stuff so now what is it uh six plus seven 13 power i mean that's that's pretty good that's pretty cool especially you know on uh after you send over you know a, a green goblin a hobgoblin i mean that's gonna be something solid right obviously it's very easy to counter that especially right now because everybody's using a um a junk deck you know you can run a nihilist 
right everybody i mean white widow is one of the cash cards so it's, it's going to be very easy to make sure that your opponent has a card on their side of the field so that you don't lose to galactics but you know despite that despite these two cards being strong right i feel like i feel like it's still gonna be all right i actually feel like galactus needed to be a little bit scarier than he was right because i mean it before this season like you you never really saw him anyways you know what i mean for for a very long time so go ahead give him give him just a, just a little bit don't make it too crazy just give him just you know what i'm saying just a little a little bit of strength let's read what they had to say though galactus stats have been lagging i'm so glad by the way you guys i'm so glad they said lagging and not languishing all right let's keep it going galactic stats have been lagging as we've added more three fives to the game and we've been looking at buffing him for a while one reason we waited was that we were <laughs> that's so many w words we were wary of his re interaction with symbiote spider-man our internal testing didn't reveal this to be problematic but we can't ever know we've solved the deck for sure now that we've seen the potential to create a higher power galactus has improved too frequent and frustrating in the re the real world we're comfortable boosting galactus up as we'd hope to i like it All right i like it like i said though these type these types of cars man you, you don't want to go overboard with it right just a, just just make them a threat like look at them y'all it's this is the world eater you know what i'm saying you should be afraid of them right i wish he worked with silver surfer but you know they ain't got no synergy let's keep it going y'all negasonic teenage warhead big bald head went ahead and gave her one more power let's read what they had to say negasonic teenage warhead has been in a similar boat but to a smaller degree resetting her ability with symbio spider-man has the potential to blow up a lot of power but it's proven easy enough to adapt to symbiote spider-man's looming combos so we're giving that ne negasonic the power she needs to perform better on her own it's interesting man because you know obviously you you think more power that's obviously a great change right but now she can't i mean this is this is a a big loss for the cerebro 2 because um obviously 3 2 cerebro 2 i mean she could be added in three and in, in that version of cerebro you have loot cage and stuff so i mean you got more cards that that uh she could be used that she in that level of cerebro that level of cerebro got stronger the, the previous one got worse is basically what i'm trying to say right also you know an, another thing that you actually have to look out for now is you know if you if you're going to combine her with symbio spider-man you can now get shanged right because three plus seven equals ten shang kills ten power cards so you do gotta look out for that but i mean you know it's cool I, I never really use her because um you know obviously outside of cerebro 2 you can you can do some some form of like a lockdown type thing um where you know you want to play that storm that storm lane right and then you put her behind storm but i often find my, myself you know if i if i'm like playing the traditional lockdown even even before the war machine stuff like i'll rather you know what i'm saying I, i'll rather use like juggernaut i rather use like jessica jones like something that's strong right as opposed to negasonic but it's also interesting man like you could do some stuff with goose negasonic lockdown more locations like that it's definitely gonna be interesting let me know what y'all think of miss bald head up next we got we got a huge this is y'all this is a very big deal because it's it's more than it's more than one power if he's doubling it's 510 right it's not 5 8 it's it's 520 not 516 you know what i'm saying let's read up on black panther what mr wakanda forever man black panther has been has long been one of the most exciting combo cards in marvel snap the combo is awesome and has the potential to take over games with the likes of wong and arnim zola we think that's a cool deck as long as there's enough counterplay to it so buffing black panther should help the deck compete when it doesn't draw enough of the full combo albeit making the combo easier to stop preemptively that's good on the off chance this buff makes such a deck too prevalent yeah it's cool you know i, I really wish that uh i also wish that you know shuri into black panther was more of a thing because now that's 520 
but it, it, it's just like as long as red skull is as strong as he is right you'll just never see the shuri you'll just never see the shuri black panther because i mean it's, it's just sauron shuri red skull you know what i'm saying but i don't know like hopefully or maybe we'll potentially see some you know some 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 of the whole like wakanda crew type decks with nakia um okoye obviously shuri black panther i might i might use something like that but i mean it's cool right and and i think they they did this one perfect like it makes them vulnerable to shang but it also makes wong a little bit stronger but there's enough counterplay to wong um to the point where it won't be out of hand you know what i'm saying let's keep it going y'all cravington it's very interesting that craving got buff i feel like move decks are very good right now you know what I'm, you know what i mean and and on top of the fact that we have uh we have um i forget the symbiote's name every single time but next month we got the one that like works with kingpin obviously craven can be put on a kingpin deck but like they're already going to be nerfing move decks in that in that way are they like giving him more are they giving him uh like more strength to compensate for that early or like this is a very strange uh, adjustment to me but let's read we've been glad to see all the experimentation around m new move deck deck list with madam webb and Aranya, but the rising tide hasn't lifted all boats craven has struggled to compete with madam with madam webb asking to be played on the same turn so we wanted to give him a little extra power to keep the decision interesting and hopefully prompt even more diversity among move builds where i mean you can and here's the thing like you, you can always just turn to uh madam webb and then turn three craven and you know put your uh human torch or something behind it right and then and then you could just start moving a little bit later but i mean I, I mean i guess you know for all the people that don't have madam webb that want to run the move deck like you you know you got something a little bit more viable with craven it's interesting I, I don't know if it's necessarily the right cha change though y'all let me know what y'all think i think we got about one or two more left yeah la last one big hercules this is, again you guys like i feel like move decks are are very strong like they're very good right now it's like you know like I don't understand why these guys need to be buff like you i feel like we're already seeing plenty of hercules right now right i mean the three five is cool um it's, it's gonna be a outside of the move decks it's gonna be like an interesting uh addition to like cerebro five because you got polaris move somebody over there knock them away with hercules right it's gonna be something interesting unfortunately you know you can't really use um what's his face miles morale is on that anymore but i mean you still got polaris spider-man right wave doom that type of thing let's read hercules has similarly been struggling to make a major contribution to move decks when the setup is just right he does amazing things knocking cars like human torch and vulture back and forth between his location and madam webbs but when that doesn't pan out he's not contributing enough given we just introduced some fun new movement cards to the mix that have room for more strength we're, we're happy to give Herc some extra power big hurt big hercules y'all that's the end of the patch though man what do y'all think of this this is a lot of cards a lot of changes hopefully you know we actually see some different decks like i said you know this i don't i don't even really want to call this this hella change and nerf because for all the reasons i already brought up right but you know hopefully we see some more black panther some a little uh, just a little bit more galactus right just a, you know just a little bit more negasonic you know what i'm saying very interesting patch i'm glad they touched up a lot of cars though regardless of how i feel about the changes themselves i'm glad that a lot of different cards got adjusted you know very in in a very minor way so that um we could see a lot more variety because when they you know when they had just won two cards you know what i'm saying like what's that but that's gonna be it y'all hope y'all enjoyed the video let me know if you agree disagree make sure y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe man we on the road to 3k subs i appreciate y'all for watching and i'll see y'all next time